And, you know, there were some other things like putting Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, who are now on Raw, putting them on Raw the way they did on the show, I just thought was completely lazy. Uh, right? So you had these two guys who were fired from SmackDown. They were fired from SmackDown because they beat up the commissioner, they beat up the general manager, they had a chance to win their jobs back at WrestleMania, and they lost. So seemingly they were done with SmackDown Live, right? Now, they tried to come to Raw. They had tried to come to Raw previously, and Kurt Angle showed no interest. And then Kurt said, well, look, I'll give you guys one chance. I have one spot open. This is what Kurt had said after WrestleMania. Now, I want you to think about that. Kurt, remember Kurt told them a few weeks ago, well, I only have one spot open. You guys can wrestle for it and see which one of you gets the job. But then we have a superstar shakeup, and guys are moving left and right. It's like, where is this one spot left open coming from? But anyway... Uh, they went to a no contest. They both lost, and Kurt said, well, by virtue of them, you know, coming to a no contest, neither man gets a job on Monday Night Raw. And so now it's like, well, what are they going to do? We have the shakeup. Are they going to be, you know, are they just going to go undrafted? I suggested that you have a little bit of fun with it, right? Because Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are not, you know, top, top guys at the moment who need to be on television every single week. You could afford to be a little creative with these guys. Keep them off TV for at least a few weeks. Send them to NXT. Maybe Regal has no interest in them, and he sends them away. Maybe they have one match at NXT, and they lose that one too. It gives us it gives us one cool match in NXT where you can do Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn against uh, you know I don't know Johnny Gargano and Aleister Black. What a, what a match that could be, right? And then they lose, and then it's like, well, these guys have no other place to go. Maybe you send them to Evolve and let them do a couple of indie matches to to you know build interest in where they're going to end up. And then eventually they come back. You, you figure out a way to get them back on TV. Instead, they just they showed up on Raw. They showed up on Raw. And the reason being, Stephanie McMahon overruled Kurt Angle. Because Kurt apparently makes rash decisions or something. And so Stephanie overruled Kurt and allowed Owens and Zayn both to come to Raw. The same Kevin Owens, by the way, who assaulted her father on television a few months ago. Now, I mean, I guess you can just explain it away by saying she's just screwing with Kurt after the match at WrestleMania and what happened with Rousey. She's, you know, taking it out on her her GM by uh, screwing with him. But I still thought this was a very weak way to get these guys back on TV. No patience. This is a company that just has no patience at all with anything. Except Roman Reigns. Vince McMahon has been waiting very patiently for about three years now to uh, get the fans to like Roman Reigns. See, with Reigns, Vince Vince is like a cat. He's like a cat. You ever try to have a staring contest with a cat? You will lose. You will lose every single time. He He has the patience of a cat with Roman Reigns. And with everything else and everyone else, he's got the patience of a gnat. That's the difference.